These are still photos of textbooks found in a dumpster outside the Detroit Day School for the Deaf, according to Deborah Love Peel, a parent advocate and mother of a former student at the school. She says a tip led her to the dumpster where she found the books and snapped the pictures. She says there are up to 150 books, ranging from dictionaries to science books. They weren't books that were tattered or torn or, or anything like that. When we asked the school district, a spokesperson says they took a look at the dumpster and found some old Old workbooks, but that was several days later, so we sent in the photos. And the district spokesman is now investigating further. This is just the latest incident that many in the deaf community and their supporters are upset about. Starting this school year, the roughly 40 deaf students who attended the day school for the deaf are being mainstreamed into other school buildings. What they did was they took a building that only deaf students can use and gave it to administrators who could go anywhere. It's criminal. It's people with absolutely no expertise and no morals are making these decisions. Former principal of the school, Jan Goyke, says the building was designed for deaf students and has special acoustics, smaller classrooms, and visual signals for fire alarms and severe weather. As for the textbooks in the dumpster, Goyke says she's not surprised. What else can we assume except that their main imperative at this time is to get everything out of there, everything related to Detroit Day School for the Deaf, and move in the administrators so that the students cannot return. The school district says federal law requires mainstreaming, and the majority of deaf students in Detroit, more than 100, already attend other school buildings. And those buildings already have the programs needed for the hearing impaired community, and they're equipped with the facility requirements like flashing alarms. In Detroit, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News.